gente, começando mais um vídeo de Tales of Sinfonia 2 Dá um novo, vamos entrar aqui em Asgard Gente, eu tô sem dinheiro aí, vai ter chefe Vamos ver aqui a conversa do medo Before we go to the stone dais, I have a proposal. Oh? Well, what is it, Doggy? I am a Centurion. Centurion Tenebrae. Oh, right. I'm sorry, Tenebi. Our winged friend is still too young and weak to deliver much damage if we attack the Garuda head on. Then what should we do? We could use a decoy to lure out the Garuda and distract it, then have the dragon strike it from behind. A decoy? Who's gonna do that? I'm not really up... I'll, I'll do, do it. Colette, you're too clumsy. I'll do it. I I'm not clumsy. And I'm pretty tough. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. <laughs> Enough! I'll do it! I can't let a girl be a decoy and hide. Emil, that may not be a good idea. I really don't want to, but there's no other choice. You do that for me? Thank you! You really are my prince. I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself. How come they don't fight when I volunteer? All right then. Emil, please get on the stone dais to draw out the Garuda. Make sure to give us some sort of signal when we should make our move. Okay, let's go to the stone dais.
don't get hit. There wasn't no. enough time. Alright. Lend a hand. I failed. Be grateful. Thanks. Don't rely on items. You're so cheap. Come on. Thanks. It's over! You're slow! Ray thrust! I'm sorry! Concentrate on- You okay? Thanks! Don't just use arts! Oh, you're right! No! Strike! Ray thrust! You're using too many! It's to win! Ray thrust! Move! Failed! Be grateful! Thanks! Come on! Thanks! Move! 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 Have it strike! Be grateful. Thanks. Huh. That can't be good. Just don't get hit. I won't forgive you. Be grateful. Thanks. Ha! Yeah. No. No. It's over! To win. Have it strike. Move. Move. Won't work. Failed. Be grateful. You okay? Somehow. You failed. Damn it. Damn it. 
Silver! rather strange. The Garuda is not aggressive by nature. I thought it would flee once its protective membrane was damaged. Wait! Something's coming! Ah! What happened? I thought we defeated it! One moment. The young dragon is saying something. She feels like the stone dais is calling to her. What does that mean? It appears something inside the stone dais is drawing monsters. Perhaps the reason I can't perceive it myself is because it's targeting monsters of elements other than my own. Inside the stone dais? But it just looks like a normal platform to me. Aisha's brother knows a lot about the stone dais. Let's ask him about it. Good idea. Let's go. Those two have really hit it off, huh? It seems that amidst all the frenzy, Lady Marta has completely forgotten her animosity. A rather fortunate development. Yeah, definitely. What happened in Palma Costa was terrible, but Colette herself is a good person.
recent one. Liner, it's been a while. I heard you were investigating those strong winds. Between that and the incident two years ago, I'm afraid we've caused you nothing but trouble. What happened? I was offered up as a sacrifice to the fake summoned spirit of wind, but the Chosen saved me. Oh yeah, the mayor mentioned that. That certainly brings back memories. If Lloyd hadn't disarmed that breaker... And that teacher kicked us around. Hey, how's Lloyd doing these days? I heard some ugly rumors, but I'm sure they're just misunderstandings. Lloyd... We haven't been able to track him down, but Lloyd wouldn't do anything bad. That's a lie! Lloyd killed my parents! Emil... Hey, let's just take it easy now. Uh, so was there something you needed? Ah, uh, yes. I wanted to ask you about the stone dais. You see... Inside the stone dais would mean underneath it. Our studies have led us to believe some sort of facility lies below. Liner, what if we perform the Maiden Ritual? The Maiden Ritual calls on the Summoned Spirit of Wind, right? It is said that the Ritual signifies the opening of a door. I'll perform it. It's too dangerous. There are flying monsters around there. Then I'll do it. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. Please, show us how the ritual is performed. Marta! Chosen One, Emil, please wait for us at the inn. Liner and Harley, you two will need to leave as well. Emil, can I ask you something? What is it? Is it about Lloyd? Are you some sort of maniac, too? I mean, when you get into battle, you become a totally different person. I have a friend who's really into old ruins, and she's the same way. People call her a maniac. According to Tenebrae, it's because Ratatosk's power has taken hold of me. What's Ratatosk? Oh, right. Tenebrae, can you help me out here? I'm surprised she hasn't asked about it before. Well, shall we tell her the story of our journey? Yeah. Then we'll talk at the inn, since it's rather long. It all began with the withering of the giant Carlon tree. Lord Ratatosk was the guardian of the otherworldly gate, which connected worlds through the giant Carlon tree. So he was the guardian of the giant tree as well. He employed centurions to distribute mana and maintain the balance of the giant tree and the world by using monsters. Until the ancient war caused the giant tree to wilt. The way I heard it, the giant tree dried up during the ancient war, causing mana to run out. That almost destroyed the world, so Mythos the hero borrowed the goddess Martel's power to split the world into two. Right. Mythos did that to protect the world. But then, after many years passed, he learned that a new mana-bearing tree would be born. And then, well... A lot of things happened, but eventually a new world tree was born and the worlds became one again. That was... the world regener... In the time between the withering of the first tree and the birth of the new one, Lord Ratatosk along with the eight centurions became dormant. Now that the world had regenerated, it was finally time for us to awaken. However, a faction within the Vanguard planned to abuse Lord Ratatosk's power. 
To prevent that from happening, I ran away with Ratatosk's core. Marta! You were explaining everything to Colette? Yeah. Was that a bad idea? No, it's okay. I mean, I still blame Colette for my mother's death. But now I know she's not a bad person. Marta! Allow me to continue. In order to wake Lord Ratatosk from his slumber... I see. So you're looking for the Centurion's cores in order to wake Mr. Ratatosk. So Ratatosk's not a maniac after all. A maniac? <laughs> Don't worry about it. So what do you think Ratatosk will do when he wakes up? He'll put a stop to all the strange weather we've been having and restore the balance of mana. Right. But the world tree we have right now already has Goddess Martell. Oh, the tree Ratatosk protected is gone now. Couldn't he protect it together with the Goddess? Good point. They could both work together to protect it. Lady Marta, is the ritual ready? I'm all set. Ready to go whenever. Okay, let's head back to the stone dais then. Okay. We should be okay. Tenebrae, call the winged dragon. Go, my minion. Strike. <laughs> the Garuda's barrier has disappeared. Now's your chance. Too many! 
It's to win. First aid. To heal power. Ravage the tiger. Healing power. It's my choice. Oh, healing power. First aid. Don't just use arts. But this is more fun. It won't work. It's over. That was powerful. Don't strain yourself. I'm not gonna lose here. Be grateful. Thanks. Thanks. You're slow. It's over. Oh, healing power. First aid. That can't be good. Just don't get hit. It's over. Too many? It's to win. Are you alright? Yes. You can depend on me. Thanks, Emil. Lady Marta, hurry and perform the ritual before another one comes. Right. Aí eu fui gravar, né? Primeira tentativa eu morri na primeira batalha. Agora a segunda tentativa eu consegui gravar o vídeo sem morrer. Mas esse chefe tá difícil, eu até treinei um pouco. Mas esse chefe tá difícil, meu Deus do céu. Eu treinei depois desse vídeo, entendeu? Depois também de gravar, jogar a parte você parte que eu treinei um pouco também. Antes de começar as gravações. the maiden ritual. Our friend performed the ritual the last time I was here. Friend. One of Lloyd's friends. <gasps> this 
didn't appear the last time. Ratatosk's core and Marta's forehead glowed. Maybe that has something to do with it. A Centurion's core must be somewhere nearby if Ratatosk's core reacted in such a way. It seems the combination of the ritual and the core had an effect on the stone dais. Whatever. If we can snag a Centurion's core while we're in there, all the better. You sound like you're going to rob the place. <laughs> she does, do Eu gosto e até o próximo.